Hi and welcome to this special video proudly brought to you by GFM TV. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I've got a topic today that will bless your life forever. So a few weeks ago I had a dream and uh, in this dream I basically saw this one line of text and it said the benefits of what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. And while I was reading that in the dream, I heard a voice say, talk about the benefits of what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the benefits of what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. And I know it's going to bless you. There's some of these things that you might know, but there's some that you might not know. And it's essential that you know all of them. So watch this video to the end. And I encourage you, share it with your family, with your friends. Just bless them. Bless someone today. Share this video. Like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, enjoy. Five things that Christ did for you on the cross. Number one, expiation. Expiation refers to the removal of our sin and guilt. Christ's death removes our sins and guilt. The guilt of our sin was taken away from us and placed on Christ, who discharged it by his death. In John chapter 1, verse 29, John the Baptist calls Jesus the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That is, he expiates our sins. Number two, Propitiation. Propitiation refers to the removal of God's wrath. By dying in our place for our sins, Christ removed the wrath of God that we justly deserved. In fact, it goes further. A propitiation is not simply a sacrifice that removes wrath, but a sacrifice that removes wrath and turns it into favor. Hebrews 2 verse 17 says that Christ made propitiation for the sins of the people. Number three, reconciliation. Whereas expiation refers to the removal of our sins and propitiation refers to the removal of God's wrath and turns it in favor, reconciliation refers to the removal of our alienation from God. Because of our sins, we were alienated, that is, we were separated from God. Christ's death removed this alienation and thus reconciled us to God. Number four, redemption. Our sins had put us into captivity from which we needed to be delivered. The price that is paid to deliver someone from captivity is called a ransom. To say that Christ's death accomplished redemption means for us that it accomplished deliverance from our captivity and that price was Christ coming to die for us on that cross. Number five, the defeat of the powers of darkness. Christ's death was a defeat of the power of Satan. The devil is defeated. My friend, I've got good news for you. If you've been struggling in any area of your life, the good news is that 2,000 years ago, Jesus defeated the devil and he set you free from that trouble. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be released from that trouble in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. From myself, Gabriel Fernandez, until we meet again, God bless you and goodbye.